Fred Finn Radio, I'm Laura De La Corte from the Luca Comics and Games 2022 and today I'm with Nisko, actors of Andor on Disney+. Plus. Yesterday I saw you that you uh, were speaking about the fact that Star Wars can unify different kind of generation, yeah. different kind of age. And uh, I was wondering, uh, according to you, which are the most powerful aspect, you know, that can make people communicate about the universe of Star Wars? I mean, I don't know because I, I'm not really someone who was into Star Wars a lot, but I have been witnessing how people connect across generations about this amazing thing. So it can only, and now I'm learning all about it, but I remember doing our first junket and we would have many, many journalists, and then there was a child. He was like 10 years old who was asking us questions, and I thought, oh my God, the guy before you was like in his 60s, and now you're 10, and you're gonna ask me questions about this. It's so beautiful. So it's one of the only things I think that exists really on, uh, in film and TV that spans that, uh, that people now, like my nephew, could talk to somebody who watched it for the first time when it came out initially and they can both be as passionate as each other. It's quite incredible, I think. Yeah, you're right. And I was wondering, playing your character in Andor, um, I mean, what, what was the main challenge beside the fact that you say that your character is emotionless and it's very, you know, uh, yeah, but I love that. It's yeah. so good not to always so, be emotional. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get some inspiration? Did you try to take inspiration from something around you? From Well, what? no, not really. I don't really have all of that kind of process. I just, the writing is pretty flawless f for a performer like me. It was really easy to, you trust the writing. You do the writing. I definitely found that as I played her, I could feel the way that um, Gus Fring, Gian, uh, Giancarlo Esposito, the way he played Gus Fring, um, this very meticulous, and but it wasn't copying his performance, it was seeing that that, that, kind, of, um, th that kind of thought process was something I shared maybe with a character like that, but uh, really I just, did what was on the page and had really great fun. Yeah, indeed. And what aspect do you like the most about the shooting? I mean, if you can tell us some stories or, I don't know, the best aspect you find with the cast and during, you know, the making of Andor. Yeah, it was kind of all, I mean, it was the pandemic, so it was difficult because you couldn't see anyone's face, any of the crew, which I found difficult because usually the crew are like my audience, so I get very close to people that I work with uh, like that, but I, everything, the whole thing, it was joyful, really joyful uh, project to be on, so yeah, all of it was great. Yeah. I think we have la just the last question. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you have, since you said that you are some kind of new inside the Star Wars universe, did you get affectionate to one character that maybe is not yours, so? Marva. Oh, really? Yeah, she's beautiful. Fiona is amazing. Genevieve is amazing. I mean, I, I have such respect for these actors already. Stellan is one of my favorite actors from such a long time ago. But as a character, Marva is a sensation to me. Okay, yeah. thank you very thank much. You so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Denise Goat, actress of Under on Disney Plus. I'm Laura Dola Corte from the Luca Comics and Games 2022. And for Fred, the Festival Insider.